What's up everybody, I am Legend with Ditto Music and today I'm showing you the best free DAWs to make music that you should try today. And of course, if you're making music, you're probably going to want to release that music at some point while you're in the right place. With Ditto Music, you can release as many songs as you want every single year worldwide to the major streaming platforms that we know and love like Spotify, Apple Music, even TikTok. And this of course is all while maintaining 100% of the money that you make from your streams. So check out the link down below for a 30 day free trial to Ditto Music and see how you like it. Also today, we're working with Sure to give away the MV7 microphone to one of you lucky viewers out there. All you have to do is be subscribed to this YouTube channel and then leave a comment down below on this video. Maybe let us know what free doll you would like to try from this list. Or did we not mention one that you actually use yourself? Whatever it's gonna be. <laughs> So you're probably here because you wanna make music, but you don't have hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to invest in the commercial dolls that most professionals use. I was there once upon a time too. Luckily, we live in a time where music is more accessible than ever with free sound packs and kits available all over the place, plugins that you can use and download for free. And now, of course, fully capable dolls that are free to use and install onto your computer. Each of these DAWs have their own design, their own features, their own reasons why you would want to use them. And so because you have so many choices, the one that you choose depends entirely on your workflow and your specific needs. Now first, let's check out DAW number one. This is gonna be Audacity. Audacity is a free open sourced DAW available for pretty much every major operating system like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And it's a very popular DAW because of its features and ease of use. Now I can attest because Audacity was one of the first DAWs that I actually recorded my vocals in when I was very, very young. And so if me as a kid can learn how to you know, produce some pretty decent vocals, then you can too. <laughs> some of the features that it comes with includes things like a multi-track editor, which lets you record and edit multiple tracks simultaneously. It's also got a built-in effects processor that lets you add a range of different effects to your tracks. Now, Audacity is a great tool for both beginner and experienced music producers, as it's something that is relatively easy to learn. However, you do wanna be careful because it is limited with bigger projects. One of the major downsides about Audacity is that it doesn't function as a MIDI sequencer. So being able to play something like a MIDI controller into your DAW and change the VSTs to something different is not possible. You have to physically record the audio into Audacity to be able to manipulate it. But if we're talking about a smaller, more simplified workflow, or you're recording more live instrumentation, then this may be a DAW that you want to try. DAW number two on my list is going to be Apple's GarageBand. It's basically the little brother to Logic Pro X, which is a widely known and widely used professional DAW. I mean, you can literally look at the two DAWs and see there's almost no difference in how it looks. You would think I'm in one when I'm in the other. To me, this is a great thing because transitioning later on to the more professional Logic Pro is gonna be super easy for you. They also have their own sound library that you can use to download additional sounds, loops, and samples to make your music. And my number one favorite feature about GarageBand is the fact that you can use it on your computer and you can use it also on your phone, seamlessly, the exact same projects. It kind of makes my creative workflow more streamlined. Now the main drawback of this to most people is the fact that yes, you do have to buy into the Apple ecosystem. This is not gonna be a huge problem for some people because most people that want GarageBand usually want a Mac anyway. I would personally say that the biggest drawback in GarageBand is its lack of bus channels. So unlike Logic where you can bus different groups of tracks through one effects channel and apply those effects to all those tracks, in GarageBand, the only way that you can do this is to individually apply every single plugin to every single track. This is going to be using up a lot of memory on your computer, a lot of resources. If you have bigger projects, once again, GarageBand is going to be somewhat of a better option, but still not the best. Doll number three on my list is Serato Studio. 
So I just started using this DAW a few years ago and it quickly became one of my favorites. The reason being because the sounds that they include are incredible. And also it's a very versatile DAW. As you can see, the user interface is not like anything that I've seen before because I'm not a DJ. The features packed into this software are not like ones that I've seen in any other. For instance, I could pitch shift my entire project by simply changing the key right here. And that'll change the key of everything in my song without me having to time stretch and pitch shift and things like that. Also, if you're into using loops and samples and the ones that they even include, when you change the BPM of your particular projects, it also speeds up or slows down whatever loops, whatever things that you play, every piece of audio in Serato Studio is gonna kind of match the key that you set and the tempo that you set. And this is why I love this application so much. DAW number four is gonna be one of the more popular DAWs on this list, Ableton Live Lite. Live Lite is kind of a slimmed down version of the main ever popular Ableton Live DAW. It's perfect for getting started in music production because it comes with all of the usual features that you can find when trying to create a full song from scratch. It's got different effects, unique loops. Now these are all things that I personally haven't used myself, but I've definitely taken a look from the outside on Ableton and thought, man, these are things that I've never seen before. <laughs> so it's known for being easy to use and it also comes with a help file for anybody who hasn't used Ableton yet to kind of learn the ropes, you know? For someone like me, who's actually not too familiar with that doll because I've only used it one time. Uh, that's actually been really helpful to kind of acquaint myself with what it can do. Now, of course, Live Lite is available on Ableton's website, but if you have bought any kind of hardware, audio interface, maybe a MIDI controller, chances are you may have gotten <laughs> Live Lite included as a bundle deal. Live Lite supports up to four inputs and outputs at once, and there are 16 tracks available with any combination of audio and MIDI channels that you choose. Now this of course is due to it being a light version of a more beefier DAW. So of course you can expect it to be limited in what it can do or the features that it includes. However, this is a really great DAW to get started in and kind of understand why people love it so much. That's honestly what, I'm, I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> Last but not least, DAW number five is going to be Reaper. There's a reason why on the front page it says do anything, because you're getting a complete multi-track, you're getting MIDI recording, you're getting mixing, you're getting mastering, you're getting editing and processing for free. Now this is, I believe, for a 60 day evaluation period, but that's essentially two months for you to make music in this DAW to see if you want to buy it. Now don't let the simplicity or the minimal look of the DAW fool you. Reaper is a full service DAW, it can do pretty much anything that you need it to do. This DAW has renowned stability, AKA it doesn't crash as much as other DAWs. I'm not gonna name names, <laughs> but this is a major factor when you're trying to decide on what DAW you want to use because one thing that's going to mess up your creative workflow and your process is if you're in the middle of making something and the DAW just shuts down. <laughs> In addition to this, Reaper is constantly being updated and is constantly evolving. They're always adding new features to see how they can make this a better piece of software for real music makers. Now, the main drawback I'm gonna say about Reaper for me has always been that it pretty much doesn't come with any type of instrumentation or plugins. It's very minimal what you get from what I understand. So unless you have a lot of money to spend, definitely double think about getting Reaper, but if you do have something to invest, then this is a DAW that you definitely might wanna try. But honestly, they're all free, so it doesn't matter if you download them all and try them all because you're not gonna spend any money. <laughs> so try them all if you want to. Either way, that is all for today's video, but don't forget we are giving away the Shure MV7 microphone. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button or already be subscribed and leave a comment down below on today's video. We'll pick a winner, but until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys, stay legendary.